Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 7 to developers and Public Beta 6 to the public beta testers. This came in a little over 100 megabytes for me at 100.9 megabytes, and it doesn't have a whole lot of changes as Apple keeps refining things, but let's first take a look at the build number. This build number is 15A5362A, and what that means is basically we're probably going to see another beta or another couple betas before the Gold Master. The reason being is we expect this to come out maybe late September, something like that. Apple's event is usually in the first or second week of September, and then they release the beta or the final version after the betas later in September. So I don't know that we're going to see anything major in those changes other than refinements, but in this beta, they've actually resolved over 130 issues. So they keep resolving a ton of issues in iOS, but there's still known bugs. There's over 60 known bugs, and this is according to the developer notes. You can only see those if you're a developer but uh, or have access to a developer account you can check out those notes but basically there's over 130 resolved issues little things that might be crashing uh, every little thing here and there that might cause issues with your phone they've resolved lots of those things with third-party apps but still there's 60 known plus issues now there's a couple of things I haven't been able to reproduce in this version but other people have seen one of those is when you slide up and you have headphones connected, either AirPods or, or EarPods, if you plug this in and your volume's too high, it gives a little notification. So you have a little yellow icon here that tells you your volume's too high. I have not been able to reproduce this, uh, and some people have said they were able to reproduce it, others were not, it's something I can't reproduce. One of the other things they've done is if we slide up here and we go into the music, it will show the last playing music obviously but if i close that particular app let's get rid of it uh, we'll get rid of music here we'll go in close it now what you're left with if you push this you've got the little music icon so that's what it leaves you with it also does that for podcasts as well so that's there now some people were actually getting a splash screen when they went into the watch app i was not able to reproduce that maybe it's because i've had one already set up in there i'm not sure but i wasn't able to reproduce the issue where you get a new splash screen some people get that some people don't and this time i didn't now another thing to note is when we go back here we turn on airplane mode you'll notice that these shut off that may be new. Uh, we haven't seen that in the last beta, but Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and AirPlay, for some people it keeps it on, some people it shuts it off, like myself. We're seeing different results now in different betas, so there's still a few things to actually button down and get right. Another thing is in the Restrictions tab under your settings. So if we go into Settings and go to General, find Restrictions, it's not on, so I, I need to enable the Restrictions. We'll do that. And under restrictions, what we'll see is password management normally. That password management is not there. If we go anyway, anywhere down through here, we don't have a password management area within restrictions itself. So you won't find that anywhere in here. Uh, we'll just disable this for now. But you won't find that in restrictions like you would before. They keep moving things around. Maybe that will come back. Just like the display and brightness, a lot of you are concerned because that's not there as far as to actually change the brightness from auto brightness and turn that off. That's now under accessibility, but that's really because you don't need to adjust it most of the time. So that's really all that's new in this particular beta. There's probably little tweaks and changes to the icons, things like that. Apple keeps going back and forth on different icon designs. We've seen these new icons, iTunes, App Store, Maps. They keep changing those, changing fonts, thicknesses of things. And some people have even noted that when you are in certain apps, there'll be roundness on those apps. So music in these corners, some people are seeing things like rounded corners. Maybe the next iPhone will be like that. But that's hard to say since we don't really no, I haven't been able to reproduce that either. And we'll know how battery is in the future when I do a follow-up video. I always do one of those about three or four days in and give you how it's been. So be sure to check back for that. I haven't found anything else though. And if you have, let us know in the comments below. Now, before we go, let's take a look at the benchmarks. This time around, we've got 3445 by 5880 for multi-core score. Last time, it was a little bit faster. 5986 versus 5880. 3514 versus 3445. I haven't noticed any speed differences. There is still a little bit of a stutter with 3D touch, but for the most part, 
it seems fine. It seems fluid. And the last beta was fine for me. I know some people had horrible battery life. I had amazing battery life, but be sure to check back for that follow up and be sure to subscribe. If you want to get notifications about those videos, if you've found anything else though, like I said, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, if you'd like to get this wallpaper, I always link it in the description as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.